Okay, I think this has started. Okay, our goal here is to have a quick introduction of ARCHICAD. And eventually, once you have that, you follow my lessons here, you'll be able to follow my bedroom when I was in high school in preparation for your dream bedroom, okay? All right, so let's say. We're gonna get to this, but I'm gonna show you a couple of things, okay? These are, um, I'm gonna show you a couple of different things really quickly here. I'm using the arrow tool here as a selection tool. And I'm zooming in and out the uh, middle scroll button, okay? And then I click, there's a wall, and look at the difference. Massive difference, okay? So we're gonna learn about that. We're gonna learn about furniture. This is all furniture. This is a closet. And this one's a door. Okay? So if I just come in here in the, in the 3D here, generic perspective, this is what you'll see. This is what I've created. Eventually, the lesson's going to showcase how to make a roof, uh, bring in lights, and so forth. That's not how I'm going to start. So I'm going to start with something new. New. Simple template. Right here. Okay? Here we go. Waiting for this to kick in. All right, so the goal is to work inside this, these two lines, in this side, right in here, okay? Right in here somewhere, okay? First thing first, start with the arrow tool. And in here, here are a couple tools that we're gonna use, quite simply. The wall tool, the floor slab, the door, window. Eventually camera, okay? So this here is a floor slab. So imagine we're in a classroom here, there's a concrete floor, okay? And we're going to call this a concrete floor on the ground, slab on grade. So if I click on this little arrow here right now, you will see there's a bunch of different concrete wooden top floors. So we're going to pick this one. That's one, first option, as opposed to just a gravel concrete top, okay? Actually, the camera's here. <laughs> All right, second, this here. What is this about? This basically says you can make any shape you want, zigzag, any irregular shape. This one here is a perfect rectangle, so just or a square. Boom. Left click, and then click again, left click. There you go. You have a slab. So if I go in here, 3D all, this is exactly what I have. So I'm holding the middle scroll button to go up and down. If I hold shift, this is what's happening. Okay? Like that. Zoom in and zoom out. Okay, cool. So this is a floor. Okay? Select it. And uh, this is the information about it. Okay, somewhere here on layers, if I double click, this pops up. It has the wrong one. Okay, that's okay. I'll go to wood and I'll just pick wood here. Just don't worry about it. Press okay. All right. Second thing I'm going to practice is the outside wall of my house and my inside partition is completely different thicknesses. Completely different thicknesses. Okay, so here it is a wall. So let's see what comes up. Here again, if I hold this down, this is a single wall, zigzag, box shape, and so on, okay? So if I just make a single wall, but the question is, if you double click here, you get the properties. See, this opens up properties. Generic is what the inside bedroom is five inches. So the outside, let's just say it's something around here. One foot, okay, something like that. All right, so we're just gonna press okay. And I'm just gonna draw something like from here, to there. If you hold shift, it constrains. There. That's a single wall. We double click. There it is. Okay? Holding middle mouse button down and shift, you can orbit around like that. Okay? Sweet. Come back. So now for interior walls, we're just going to make this up. Okay? We're going to make it up. We're going to go here. Right? Double click. And this time we're going to do just generic 5 inches right here. Okay, press OK. Click anywhere here. Click, and boom, you're done. Because I have a single wall tool selected. Here, you have a zigzag, so watch the difference. Click, I can go like this, like that. Here, I can make up stuff, Look, all the way here. Now, if I right click now, I can close it. I can end it, sorry, end it. Okay, there, all right? So I made that kind of wild wall. So you guys know, the image that I had earlier, basically I have an exterior wall and interior and a closet, okay? So we're not doing the project right now, we're just playing. So watch what I could do here. I can click here. Oh, sorry, let me get the arrow tool. Once you're done a tool, please go to the arrow tool. 
Watch this. If I click here and I take, if I left click this and hold shift, look what it does. It goes all the way here. Okay. If I come over here and select this wall, press the X delete key, gone. This one, gone. Here. Look at that. It hovers, makes it a magnetic tool. And depending on what I've selected, hang on. Uh, undo, Command Z. Click out here. This is highlighted, right? So now I highlight it. If I left click, look what it does. It does these wild things, right? That's not what we want. So we can come over here. You can extend this like this. See? I can extend this through the wall. Left click, move. Okay? All right. So that worked. So let's see what we've created so far. Okay? There. So let's see how we can bring in a door and how we can bring in a window, okay? Watch this. Okay? Look at this. Hover over a tool and you will get what the tool is about. This is a door tool, right? All right. Let's double click here and see what pops up. Where is it? And I'm ne I'm not connected to the internet, so I'm gonna be it's gonna be a problem here because my network is shot and meaning uh, it's not working. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna type in door. Usually all of these pop up already. Okay. So, but because I have a network issue, things aren't working. So there's indoor type of doors and there are outdoor types of doors. Okay. So I'm just gonna pick this door right now. I have no idea what this is other than it's three feet wide. Press OK. Zoom out, hold the middle scroll button down to kind of pan around. I'm going to go like this. Now the door swing normally goes towards a wall. Done. There. So let's go in here, double click, get ourselves a window. Okay, casement. And then take this one. It says it's two foot six wide, five foot tall. I'm going to go over here. Boom. There. Here. And notice what's happening. Just hovering out. Okay, this is what I've created. All right, nice. So now let's look at what we created. So there it is. Okay, so again, we have no concept of scale right now because it's just a window, wall, door, and so forth. Okay, let's try to bring furniture in under object here. It looks like a chair. Double click it. And what we're going to do is um, I'm going to come in here. I don't know why we're on a toilet here, but let's type in bed. Okay. Something like that. So you choose the bed you want for now. And uh, I think my when I was in school, I had a double bed. So this is called the double bed. And I'm selecting a this point here. Okay, so that means that's where I want it to populate, to arrive. Okay, press OK. Pop over here. There's my bed. Okay, now watch what I'm going to do here. Zoom in. Click. Be careful here, because now we're scaling. This is a problem. Okay, so if we click on something and you grab it in the middle, then you can actually move it. Another way to move something is holding shift, bottom arrow comes down, up arrow goes up, right arrow goes left, left arrow, and so on and so forth. Okay, so my bed looks something like this. All right, there you go. I'm just going to bring a desk in. I'm going to shut down this uh, lesson. Okay, so we're going to go to furniture again here, double click. And this time I'm going to type in desk. Okay. And I'm going to grab this one. And where do I want to connect it? I have no idea this new method why Archicad is doing this. But if you hover the corners, there's a rotate tool. Rotate tool, rotate tool. So there. Uh, which way is my desk? It's that way. Keep turning. One sec here. There. I'm going to come in here and pop it over here. Okay, so that's my desk. Click in the middle, left click and move it anywhere you want. Okay, roughly that's it. So if we look at this from the 3D view, we will see this. See? That's looking from above. Okay, pretty cool actually, really nice. I don't know why I press one thing and it's a different library part, but that's okay. So essentially this is what we've created today. I don't know how many minutes I've been recording, but I need to shut this down. Okay, OBS, thank you very much. Stop recording. So that's as far as we're going right now, and we're going to repeat this again and again uh, multiple times, okay? I'm going to end this video. Stop recording.